We're joined by Coach Ed Cooley of Providence. Coach, if you want to make an opening statement, then we'll take a few questions. Yeah, so um, obviously uh, disappointed in the loss. You give DePaul a lot of credit, both uh, coming out of the first half and the second half. The energy, um, you know, their uh, the guard play was terrific. You know, I'll give them a lot of credit. Their physicality uh, beat us up on the glass. Uh, we didn't match their intensity. Um, it's it's uh, it's sad. I'm, I'm I'm hurt for our players. I'm hurt for our program. Um, you know, to have your last game like that. Uh, it's been a trying year all over the place for everyone in the country. I'm very proud of the fact that we got through the season um, where we didn't have a pause. It just was. Uh, it just. It just wasn't the year that I thought we would have. Um, I know there's a lot of disappointed people. There's no one more disappointed than myself at all. You know, uh, we expect a lot. Our expectations for our program will remain high. Our standards are high. Um, it just wasn't one of these years where. We had enough consistently consistency top to bottom for us to be a uh, a worthy team night in and night out. You know, there's some uh, some soul searching I think we all have to do, and it all starts with me. Um, and I need to do a better job. Uh, we all need to do a better job, but it all starts with me, and uh, that's where we'll begin. But you know, it was uh, wasn't a season I'm proud of. Uh, and hopefully we can uh, get better as we move forward. Uh, again, a lot of credit to DePaul. I thought they played really, really well. They played connected. We had opportunities in this game. We just didn't capitalize on them, whether it was a free throw, a block out, um, a layup here or there. Uh, just wasn't meant to be for the Friars this year, and that's unfortunate. But I do appreciate their effort all season. They're wonderful kids. Uh, you know, hopefully I can do a better job with our next group when they come in with the guys that'll be returning but there's a lot of soul searching in Friar Town where we got to come up with a lot of different answers because what we did this year just was not it was not Friar like and it's not something that I'm very comfortable with let's go to Bill Koch Providence Journal yeah Ed can can you just take us through what maybe the search was like game to game to try and find consistency to try and find you know, maybe that pop that you guys have played with in the past? Yeah, you know, we, uh, I, I think it all starts with preparation, emotional preparation. And, you know, you're looking for a lineup where, you know, you can get a little bit of rhythm, a little bit of synergy. And it just was choppy the whole game, you know, really, really choppy the whole game. We just, again, it was one of those nights, you know, there's no greater stage to, to come on at the Madison Square Garden, the Big East tournament. It's just one of the greatest pleasures as a head coach to be involved with and for whatever reason we just we just didn't have a, a lot of it we didn't have a lot of chemistry on the floor today which I'm really surprised at because we had some really good practices coming into this you know uh, I thought we knew exactly what we wanted to do and how we wanted to do it we just weren't able to execute it so I really don't have a lot of answers for that other than you got to give the Paul a lot of credit because they were very disruptive I think we had 16 turnovers and you know we, we can never get any flow or any rhythm. Kevin McNamara, Kevin, you're next. Yeah, Ed, Ed uh, I think you guys missed 14 free throws tonight. You, like you said, you just couldn't find any rhythm. And, and what did they do against uh, David to, to, I think, limit him to only nine shots? Yeah, I mean, obviously, when you know when when you got a target on you, there's going to be a lot of attention to you, and that's where your teammates got to help you out. That's where the teammates probably got to make an extra shot here, an extra pass there relieve a little bit of pressure from him, um, you know, because he was trying really hard. Uh, again, you know, their game plan was good. Um, you know, we had some open shots that we weren't able to convert on. You know, their defense was really good on him. Had a lot of second half troubles in the last, you know, couple weeks. Uh, lack of depth, uh, concentration, anything you can point to? I would say our second half performances uh, has been inconsistent all season. You know, that second half today was a microcosm of this entire year. Um, you know, uh, our defensive uh, alertness, our attention to detail, our communication. You know, when I talk about soul searching for me, it starts on the defensive end. Um, so team toughness, mental toughness, coaching toughness. 
you know that that's been inconsistent this whole year and and again there's 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 no finger pointing the finger points right at the mirror and it starts with edward cooley brendan mcgare for socket brendan hey can you just uh, walk us through the first half putting in andrew and bryson was that just kind of you know trying to provide a spark you know i mean i've done that in my entire career you know, when you're searching for energy it, to me, it all starts with toughness. And, you know, um, I just didn't feel we had a tough mindset coming out. When you look at the way we played, I thought we were a little lackluster. You know, we were kind of just going through the motions and that kind of took me by surprise. I thought our pregame was good. I thought our preparation and our walkthrough today was good. Our film sessions were good, but we just didn't come out with that pop. And, you know, we tried to energize the group. You know, Andrew Fonts is someone who, um, is that energizer force? He's a communicator, uh, and I thought you know Bryson probably played his best game for us today. You know he picked the right time to really step up, and which we needed. And I thought that will propel us as the other guys got their feet under him. We just weren't consistent the rest of the time. Last question, Maury Hirsch Gordon. Hey Ed, with the obvious disappointment, what, what message did you share with the team there in the locker room afterwards? You know, I'm echoing the same thing I'm talking to you guys about, you know, for Providence College to be 13 and 13 or whatever our record is and lose 11 Big East games in a very tough league. We've had opportunities all year and we talked about soul searching. And again, I, I will 100 percent take accountability for my program. Bob Driscoll and Ken Sakar trust me with this program. And I don't feel I've done a really good job delivering for them. So the soul searching starts with me. It starts with our staff, it starts with our strength coach, our, our trainers, and then it trickles down to our players. What can we do better moving forward? How do we prepare? Do they understand the toughness of this league night in and night out what it takes to be successful on the floor, off the floor, being able to communicate better, being able to understand what is winning and what goes into winning. That's the conversation I had with our men. And they have to understand that there will be some changes coming. Thank you. Thank you. Ed, thanks for your time. Thanks.